The objective of this demonstration is to get a basic understanding of how Lyft works. Open a new session of Discovery. Close the welcome screen and browse to the file rcplanewing.dsco. The model we're currently looking at is of a wing from a large remote control airplane. The principal areas of the airplane that generate lift are the wings, so it makes sense to focus our attention on these for the simulation. For the scope of this exercise, we are going to focus on a wing segment. In the model tree, hide the outer wing section. To begin the exercise, click External Flow. Assign the inlet face as the direction pointing at the wing. Set the ground plane as the direction underneath the wing. The enclosure is then created around the plane wing. Let's switch to a side view by clicking the blue arrow on the cube in the orientation tool. Note that the wing segment is nearly at the bottom of the enclosure. Since a real plane wing would be surrounded entirely by air, we should reposition the enclosure to reflect this. Access the Move tool from the Design tab and click Move. Return to the model tree and select the enclosure. Then click the green arrow and drag down until the airfoil is approximately in the center of the volume. Let's now set up the simulation physics. The default fluid for the simulation is water. Edit the fluid used in the simulation to air. Now, let's adjust the boundary conditions. Let's set the inlet flow velocity to 44 meters per second. You can now delete the ground plane in the physics tree, since the model is surrounded by air. Deleting the ground plane will make the ground plane part of the extents, which are free slip walls, hence no friction is included. We can now hide the enclosure. Let's start the simulation by clicking the solve button. The streamlines are shown by default as the simulation starts. Deactivate the streamlines and activate the contours with location set to All Faces and surface display priority set to Outer. As the designers and engineers performing these simulations, it's up to us to make sure they're realistic as possible. Let's ensure the angle of the wing is tilted slightly upwards to get a better visualization of the lift being generated. Activate the Move tool. Return to the model tree and select the wing segment. Click the blue rotation handle and then press the spacebar. Because we're rotating the wing segment counterclockwise, we're going to enter a value of 5 degrees and press Enter. Press the S key to exit the Move tool. To understand lift, we first must understand pressure and how that behaves on the wing segment. Set the simulation result display to static pressure, and the contours location to all faces, and the surface display priority to inner. Hide the wing body from the model tree to get a better view of the pressure contours. Then, disable the cut plane to view the entire wing segment. we can see that there's an area of low pressure on the top surface of the wing segment. If we rotate the model and look at the bottom, we can see that the pressure is generally much higher here. Looking at the wing, we can also see that the geometry has some inaccuracies. This is an indication that we should increase the fidelity, so let's do that now. At the bottom of the window, drag the fidelity slider to the right to approximately 8.2 millimeters. It still looks like we have some inaccurate geometry on the wing. Let's zoom out for a moment so we can see another option that we have for increasing the fidelity resolution. To begin, unhide the enclosure. The size of the enclosure also has an effect on the accuracy that can be achieved in the simulation. In this case, we can see that we have quite a bit of room, so we can reduce the enclosure to increase the fidelity of the simulation. Activate the Pull tool, which can be used to move the faces of the enclosure and reduce its overall size. Select the rear face of the enclosure, and click and drag to make the enclosure smaller. We can perform the same operations on the sides and front of the enclosure as well. 
To adjust the side simultaneously, select one face, then hold control and select the other face. We can rotate the model or use query select again. Once both faces are selected, click and drag to reduce the size. Press S on the keyboard to exit the pull tool and then hide the enclosure. If we look at the wing segment from the bottom again and zoom in, we can see that the geometry has been improved. Keep in mind that we still haven't hit the best fidelity, but for now, these results are okay to give us an initial understanding of lift. Looking at the wing segment again, it's still clear that the pressure along the top surface is lower than the pressure along the bottom. This difference in the pressure values is what generates lift. We'll examine this concept again with some more exciting models in a later video. This concludes the demonstration on understanding lift.